So today we have a really interesting video because I'm joined by Varpu from Her Finland and we're going to teach you 10 mistakes what to avoid when dating Finnish guys. Let's go check them out. What up Fantastics? Make sure you to subscribe to get more fantastic videos about Finnish culture, lifestyle and language. So Varpu, can you just quickly tell a little bit about yourself? Sure. Moikka! I'm Varpu and I'm the blogger behind HerFinland.com and I help you guys to experience Finland like a local. So make sure to check out her blog after this video. So the first thing to keep in mind is don't expect the men to make the first move because we Finnish guys and Finns in general are kind of like shy and a little bit introverted but we still want to you know get in get to meet new people and get to know girls and stuff but we Finns, Finnish guys are not maybe the most skillful making that first move. What do you think Barbara? I totally agree. They are usually quite shy so be bold. Yeah, and also girls out there, make sure to make those first moves because uh, if you are just waiting for the guy to make the first move, I think you're going to miss out on many awesome Finnish guys out there, so take action. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong for a girl to approach a guy in Finland. That's true. And the next thing is don't expect the guys to express their feelings because, you know, the Finnish guys, again, I mean, we do have feelings, but we are not really skilled at expressing them, but we are still like human beings. It's just kind of not so easy to us to express our feelings. What yeah, do you think? Alexi has a point with this one. In Finnish culture, we kind of, you have to read between the lines and see what the other person is doing for you. Is he spending time with you? And that tells a lot about that person and if he's into you. That's very true, and also pay attention to the body language because that's also one thing how you can, how we say, read the Finnish guy. Except Finnish guys might not have uh, body that language. strong body language to, to kind of decipher. So, on the if you can read it, that's perfect and gives you a very strong signal. But if you can't read it, don't be alarmed. That's a very good point. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. The next thing is don't be too pushy at the beginning because uh, depending where you come from but in Finnish like uh, touching and this kind of physical things uh, are maybe not so normal at the beginning. I mean it's normal to do to take it take it along with you at some point but when you're just getting to know making the first impression don't get too touchy. That's what I would say. Oh, I thought actually that you wouldn't do a point like this because I thought that all guys like touching. Yeah, but there's there's a certain line. I mean, you can do like a little bit, but if you're just like putting your arm around him like right from the start, they might be like, oh, what is this doing? Because, you know, we have kind of have the personal space and you have to kind of swim your way through the personal space to that guy. That is actually very true. So I would give maybe this kind of advice too that if the yeah. guy you are approaching is going backwards, you know that you are crossing into his territory and he is not ready to be that close to you. Good point. The next point is don't expect the texting to be too simple because I think this is definitely a big problem also for girls. But you know, when you made the, you exchange the numbers and you're texting and stuff, and you are expecting that things are going well, but suddenly he stops messaging at you. You're like, what? What did I do wrong? And then we we call this ghosting. I think it's called. We also go say in Finnish ghost and, and this can happen every once in a while. And yeah, it's it's like a skill that you could make tons of money if you know how to do it and sell it to people. Yeah. So I'm with you girl. This thing sucks also for Finnish girls. Like I have absolutely no idea why Finnish guys text weirdly. And I I have to say that I think the same from girls. <laughs> yeah, but it's even it's also difficult for us Finns. I mean, it's really kind of difficult to figure out stuff from texting. So my advice is to you try to keep the texting as minimum as possible and try to arrange the dates. Yeah. And, and call and yeah, also call. Like I think Finns do some more calling when come when it comes down to dates because you can, it's there's more interaction. You can explain things more clearly, and also set up those dates and try to make the progress over there instead of texting. Yes, I agree. Yeah, 
do that. And the next point is don't fall for the stereotypes because we always tell like Finnish guys are shy and not we're bad at you know expressing their feelings but there are actually those social guys like me for example out there as well so don't think that every guy Finnish guy is the same and so you can also meet some really outgoing funny guys with sense of humor out there as well so keep your eyes open and also go out to different places where you can meet where different kinds of Finnish guys yeah, I was waiting for that point that when this comes a marketing video for Alexi and there we have it. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, Alexi is completely right. He is very talkative and also so is my hobby. So there is definitely talkative Finnish guys out there. Next thing is don't expect them to pay on the first date because Finnish culture in general is like very equal. Like yeah. the equal gender equality is very good and this is also reflected on the dating culture and what this means basically so if you are used to go on a date for a coffee or even for a restaurant and stuff the traditional ways that guy pays for the girl but that doesn't really happen not as much anymore here in Finland especially if I talk from my experience I never pay for the girl on the, on the first date but that's just my ways there might be still some guys who do, does this kind of stuff but I personally don't. I was also waiting when Alexi ruins his marketing video <laughs> and now he did it. Yeah, yeah, so, but definitely there's a point. So <clears throat> you shouldn't be alarmed if your Finnish guy expects you to pay for your own bill. And it goes 50-50. He is not expecting you to collect the whole bill. That's like bad manners. Mm. The next point is don't neglect on learning any Finnish because so if you are learning Finnish and you're also letting your potential date, Finnish date, knowing that you are learning Finnish, I think he will appreciate you more because you are putting effort to get to know their culture and their language in a good way. This is true. Um, if you are interested in Finnish language, it really shows the guy that you are into our culture. Yeah, and I can give a quick personal experience because, for example, my ex-girlfriend was uh, Japanese and when I learned Japanese we had like a lot of uh, kind of inside humor in, in, in Japanese. Mm. So you can do the same with Finnish. Once you learn a little bit, you can make start making your own jokes and stuff in your Finnish and you can create like a very unique dimension to your relationship with the language. That is completely true. Mm. I think um, learning Finnish is a great idea in that respect that when you're having a relationship with not your mother tongue, you always lose a bit of your personality. So oh. when you're able to give that other person, your Finnish guy, the chance to communicate also in Finnish, that gives you more insight to his personality. That's a very good point. So learn some Finnish as well. The next point is don't neglect the importance of sex in the relationship because again it depends where you come from but Finnish, uh, Finland and Finnish people are very liberal when it comes down to sex and this also means that Finnish people usually have sex before they get into a serious relationship or when they start to be serious. So and Or get married. Or get married, yeah. So for example I know a lot of people who have even started seriously dating after a one night stand. So but it doesn't mean that you have to get like pound chica wow wow on the first date if you don't want to, but they might it might happen on second, third, fourth date. Of course there are like individual differences, but just keep in mind that it will happen usually sooner than later. <laughs> okay, Alexi. <laughs> So what I want to say here that Finnish women own their body and are very uh, in tune with their uh, desires and are not afraid to show it. I would say it is arrogant to say that Finnish girls are easy or shit like that. It makes me kind of angry even. These are liberal when it comes to sex and you don't have to wait until marriage. That's right. So the next point is don't expect the Finnish guys to provide for you completely. So again, this comes to the gender equality and we in Finland especially, we expect also the women or the girl bring their part of like, you know, in terms of economical finance to the, you know, if you own a, own a house and stuff. And so it's not really anymore like that. The guy is always doing the work and the girls stay home. It's not like that. Usually the also both are working and earning money and so on. Yeah, that is true. 
In Finland, we usually have separate counts for the girl and the guy. Uh, even in relationship, we might have uh, together like a food account. And That's true. Yeah. yeah, and then we also buy things together and you buy trips together. So it is all about 50-50. Pretty much, yeah. And the last point is, don't forget the importance of communication because communication is the secret to a successful relationship, at least if you ask me. And I think Finnish people, especially the guys, should maybe put a little bit more effort on their communication skills. In Finland, there's not really a clear, how would I say, pattern when you become kind of like official, when you transition from dating to being in a relationship. Some people kind of like agree or they mm. talk through it and okay, they kind of decided together and in some relationship it just happens naturally and they just suddenly start to speak about each other as a girlfriend and boyfriend. So there might be some uh, differences between that, but what I would advise to you is just ask directly from your Finnish boyfriend or potential boyfriend what they want and to make things clear. Yeah, I agree. I think with my boyfriends, that sounds like I had a ton of boyfriends. Oh That's shit. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I think I never agreed officially like we are dating. It just went very naturally. So you shouldn't stress about it. But with Finnish guys, you can always, always ask and they will give you an honest reply. That's true. So what kind of tips would you give? What pitfalls have you faced when it comes down to Finnish men? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to check Varpus blog about this uh, topic. She made a pretty, pretty kick-ass post about this. Link also in the description and make sure to check out her other blogs as well. She makes some pretty kick-ass blogs oh. about Finland. <laughs> and we will see you next time. So, mora. No, no. Hey, hey.